Where's Angus? I'm supposed to be cooking cheeseburgers today. Wait, wait, I'm here. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, it's for the cheeseburgers. The what? Oh, we're gonna do cheeseburgers, but cheeseburger dumplings. Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. What the hell? Come with us as we do cheeseburger and dumplings at the same time, starting with some ketchup. We want three tablespoons here. Moving on, we've got some mayo. This is gonna come in in two tablespoons. Lastly, we've got some yellow mustard and only one tablespoon here, so a three to one ratio of sauces. Next, we've got Worcestershire sauce for that umami bomb. In it goes. And we're gonna want some smoked paprika here. Any paprika is fine, but we like to add the smoked for extra barbecue flavor. And one little teaspoon of chili ground up. Next, we're adding some kosher salt, just a rough amount here. Lastly, some toasted sesame oil. And just give that all a mix with a whisk until you've got your nice base sauce there. Moving on to the spring onions, we're gonna dice these up and then finally chop them using the uh, chopper. It just makes life easy, you know? Save yourself the time. Next, we've got some high temp burger cheese. These come pre-sliced. And because we're gonna mix these up into our dumpling mix, we're gonna wanna stack them and then cut them into squares. Small squares, you're gonna aim for about three, four, maybe five pieces in each dumpling. So obviously the more squares you have, greater the chance you're gonna have some cheese in that dumpling. It's a thing of beauty. So we're moving that spring onion into the sauce and then adding individual bits of cheese, separating them as we go. Bit tedious, but totally worth it. On the protein side, we've got some lovely Wagyu beef brisket minced up. About 50-50 fat protein. This was leftover trimmings from a brisket cook we did the other week. So it's good to get out of the second life. Moving everything over to the stand mixer, we've got the beef mince sauce, cheese, spring onions. And we're gonna put this on a two and let it mix for about 10 minutes. The golden rule for making dumpling filling is to always mix in one direction and that's to help the muscle fibers stay nice and tender when you bite into that dumpling meat. G'day guys, welcome to Kitchen Stadium. You've got Tom and myself here gonna show you how to make cheeseburger dumplings. While Tom has a bit of cheeseburger experience, what I'm bringing to the table today is some solid dumpling making abilities. But if you've never made dumplings, we're gonna show you how it's done, break it down. I'm gonna produce one, and then we're gonna flick over to Tom, who's a first timer here, and we'll see how he gets through it. What we've got here is a stack of store-bought dumpling wrappers. Now you can find these at most Asian groceries. And the reason we've got uh, stacks of dumpling wrappers is because making these yourself is very tedious, time consuming, and it takes a lot of the fun out of the dumpling making process. So we don't mind buying these, prepare ahead of time. That way you're gonna just get down to the nuts and bolts of it. That's smart. So take that first skin off the top of the stack. It's got a little bit of flour on there. And then you're gonna to wanna to put that down onto your prep board. Now getting your dumpling filling, you're gonna to wanna to place the mince in the middle of the dumpling. And then using two fingers, dip them into a side cup of water. And you're gonna run your fingers around the outside of the dumpling wrapper. And this is gonna create the glue when you bring that dumpling together, making sure it doesn't come apart while it's cooking. All right, so to fold your dumpling, you're gonna to wanna to bring it together in the middle like so, and that's gonna be your first pinch point. Like a little mini dumpling taco. And then using two fingers, your thumb and your middle finger, you're gonna to wanna to wrap the dumpling in on itself. And the way I like to think about this, it's a calming, relaxing ocean. And the waves roll over and over until you get to the end. Then you come back to the middle and repeating the same process, but in the other direction, the waves roll over and over and done. Give everything a nice little squeeze. And that is your first dumpling, cheeseburger style. All right, let's have first run of making one of these bad boys. Can't be that hard, right? Grab one of these, 
I think we slap this down. Grab your meat. Slap that down too. Something about getting my fingers wet next. Yeah, boy. Give it a good rimming. Nice and wet, just like you like it. Fold it over in the center. A little bit like a taco, actually. And he said something about surfing or waves. I don't know, sounded like garbage. It's just kind of folded in on itself. Do that again. Squeeze it. Repeat. Yeah, we'll just close this end off nicely. Fuck yeah, dumpling mohawk. All right, so we've managed to make a couple of dumplings here, and I believe I've produced something which faithfully represents a traditional dumpling, however, using our cheeseburger ingredients. No complaints there from me. Yeah, but it looks to me, you know, that's the nerdy kid that got his mum to do his hair. This is a kid with a sick mohawk that everyone wants to hang out with. Who would you choose? That dumpling should have been aborted. Oh, snap. Let's hope it tastes better than it looks. Well, already then, light your charcoal chimney. You can see we've oiled a big wok here and placing the dumplings in once the oil is super hot. You're gonna to wanna to get those bottoms nice and brown. And then this is the secret. A little bit of lager, we've used VB here and it's gonna steam fry the dumplings. While the beer vaporizer is turning into steam, that's gonna steam your dumplings and the pan below is gonna keep it nice and hot and fry the bottoms. This is the secret technique to cooking dumplings perfectly. Once they're done, give them a shake. Just making sure you don't rip any of the bottoms. Yeah, look at that. Beautifully brown, ready to eat. Next time you're feeling like cheeseburgers, but want something a little bit different, give these cheeseburger dumplings a good run. I mean, how they've come out, crispy skins, lots of flavor on there, and that traditional ketchup, mustard, mayo combo that you know is gonna be a winning touch. I think these are gonna be a home run. Let's see how they taste. It's like a explosion of flavor inside those dumplings. I think that a lot of that is the cheese. The melted cheese coming in with the beef mince. I mean, we didn't skimp out. We used the premium Wagyu cut and it definitely shows. Traditionally, pork dumplings come in with a, quite a basic flavor. These completely blow those out of the water. A lot of flavor coming in. Great experimentation for all the flavors coming together. Next time I'm at the bar watching the footy, I'm gonna ask them if they got any cheeseburger dumplings over the menu. That's about all we've got time for at Smoke and Dagger, so I'm gonna knock the rest of these bad boys off the plate. Do yourself a favor, try some cheeseburger dumplings. You won't be regretting it.